Hi, everybody, and welcome back to English Practice. This is a very short clip. It's on when to use had better. Maybe you've already come across that construction. Maybe you heard somebody use it and wondered what exactly does that person want to say, actually? What's the meaning of had better? And we start with a couple of examples. And from there, from, from the examples on, I'll actually run the grammar by you. Let's have a look at this one. I have to write a test tomorrow. I'd better start studying or else it'll be too late. I had better start studying or else it'll be too late. So you have that construction, had better. This is the short version. And you've got the infinitive without the to right after it. I'd better start studying or else it'll be too late. Next one. Um, shall I take a scarf? You'd better. It's gonna get cold tonight. You'd better. You had better. It's gonna get cold tonight. And one more example. Are you taking the bike? I'd better not. It's cold outside. I'd better not. So if you want to actually make a negative sentence out of this, eh, you cannot use hadn't. You just throw the not after the better. So it, then it's I'd better not. It's cold outside. So we have I'd better start studying or else it'll be too late. Uh, shall I take a scarf? You'd better. It's gonna get cold. Uh, maybe you'll catch a cold. So you'd better take a scarf. And are you taking the bike? No, I'd better not. It's cold outside. And let's have a look at the grammar here. So uh, this is one more sentence. We're out of money. I had better go to the bank now. Or I'd better go to the bank now. We use had better um, when we want to express a warning or when we want to give an advice, when we want to say that something is advisable. And the important thing is, or else, which, better, which kind of means if you don't do this, there will be negative consequences. So it's used as a warning, as an advice, or else there might be negative consequences. We're out of money. I'd better go to the bank now. The negative consequence is we're out of money, which then means I can't buy any food and you'd be hungry, go to bed hungry and stuff like that. Okay, that might be a negative consequence. So it's like a warning or an advice. Another uh, point I would like to mention here that had, we usually use as a past tense. It's the simple past for to have. Not in this context. For I had better refers to the present and also to the future. You can actually say, I'd better go to the bank tomorrow, which is not a problem. So it does not refer to the past tense. That's another thing you would like to keep in mind, please. And here is another sentence. It's already late. We'd better hurry. Um, because if we don't get home now, we're not going to get enough sleep and then maybe tomorrow we'll be tired and that would be like the negative consequence. It's already late. We'd better hurry. So use it as a warning. Use it when something is advisable and use it when you would like to express that if the person doesn't do what you actually suggest, there might be negative consequences. It's already late. We'd better hurry. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. We see you when you get to the next video. Until then, bye-bye and have a good time.